Namaste. How's it going? Stillness and silence. These two are vital in the practice of meditation. Why so? Stillness. When we hold the body still, we slow down the functions of our autonomic system until it reaches the base level. And when it happens, yeah, our vital organs won't be requiring you know, much energy anymore. All right. Leading to the what? The separation yeah, of the conscious energy, which comes from the functions of our vital system, yeah, and the life force, the prana. Yes, the prana detaches because the body is not needing that much life force anymore because it has reached its base requirement. All right. And when it happens, the prana detaches, yeah, and this shall manifest yeah, um, in various uh, ways, yeah. And the most, I say, uh, predominant, the most obvious in meditation is sound. Therefore, silence. Silence of the environment where we meditate on, and of course, the silence of uh, chitta, our mental energy. So how can we silence the chitta, the mental energy? By listening yeah, to the sound of the prana, or the life force. Yeah. And then the sound of the life force is easy to find too. Just hold it still. Stop. You may do this with me. Stop. And it will appear like a light noise. Not annoying noise, but a light sound hovering around the four hidden temples around right here. And it sounds like little tiny crickets, yeah? They're like, they're so far, yet so close. That is um, the first, yeah, the, the sound of the cricket. It's like you're alone in the forest and you can hear the sound of nature. It's not made, it's just there, lingering. Yeah. So when we listen to the sound, actually this comes from personal experience. I think my first samadhi, really, it's true, listening to that sound. Although I didn't know that sound back then, was vital, I just heard it and I just listened to it while relaxing and it happened. I didn't plan for it, just happened. Yeah, I was holding the body still, yeah, and I listened to that sound and it happened. Right. So this may, this may take time, really, because, yeah, well, the body would have to remain or would have to be made open yeah, and remain resilient. Yeah, so you prevent your your senses from distracting you because just holding the body still. Yeah, it is easier said than done. Actually, because your joints and the nerves and the mind will distract you. Sometimes the mind can sabotage our practice of meditation, but it takes time. Yeah, so one at a time. Yeah, do it still first. Yeah, still stillness. If the sound is not yet, yeah, just uh, forget about the sound. Just hold the body still until you feel yeah your your joints, yeah your nerves, they become slightly desensitized. Yeah, like uh, paralysis, numbness, but not scary paralysis. But they just don't want to move anymore. Even if you want to move them, you can just hold the body still there without moving. Even if you might say move, 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 yeah, you can't sustain and this is state of yoga neither. And it will happen, really. Yeah. As you become better, yeah, controlling yeah, the movement, the body, then bit by bit, yeah, the, the, the senses yeah, shall back off to and then you will develop this heightened sensitivity of yeah, the subtleness around you. And the sound will appear too. Yeah, so when you practice meditation, uh, for me, yeah, important. Yeah, although there are many techniques of meditation, visualization, um, 
Uh, you might also practice like sound, yeah, external sound like music. Yes, they will help you relax the mind. But at the end of it, it's just you alone. Yeah. You don't need yeah, the ornaments. You don't need yeah, uh, the, the external tools. Yes, they will help you. But at the end of it, it's just you, your mind, your body, and your breath. Yeah, slow down, stop, and listen. I'll see you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Namaste.